Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Eva, and we're pupils of Freshford Church School near Bath. Today we're going to be showing you how Freshford has saved energy and fight climate change. We're going to cover the, um, how they've saved energy in the classroom, the school kitchen, and the solar panels on the roof project. And how the Energy Sparks charity have helped us achieve this. So what is energy? Energy is everything. It's everywhere. It's the whole universe. Energy is power, from something physical or chemical to give us light, heat or electricity to work machines. Energy is also movement, like star jumps, running or kicking a ball. So, where do we get energy? From the sun, the wind, the sea, the ground. What can it do? It gives us power to make things work, like your computer, like a light in your room, or even this camera. So, let's look at our school and what we have been doing to save energy. Energy in the classroom. Well, we've been putting posters up to warn people that um, when they leave at the classroom, they should turn the lights on otherwise it will waste energy. What do the spots mean? Well, the green one means anyone can turn it on and off. The orange one means you have to ask permission to, and if you see a red one, it means just don't touch it. Have people switched off the lights? Yes, but uh, they're really good in the classroom, but we're having problems with the lights in the toilet. How do you make people aware of what they need to do? Well, we have assemblies, and um, that's and we tell people what they can do and how to save energy and why it's important to save the energy. What about other equipment like computers? There are whiteboards and the computers on, so we just go and turn them off if there's no one in there. What about other changes have happened in the classroom? Well, some classrooms have monitors where if there's any, if the whole class is leaving the room, then you they can just go and turn the lights off. What have you been doing to save energy on heating? Well, for that we've been putting up thermometers around the school to make sure that it's not either too hot or too cold. So if it's too hot, we need to turn it down to a comfortable uh, like heating. And if it's too cold, to turn it up so it's comfortable. Due to COVID, you can't shut the windows. How do you keep warm? Um, well, since you can't shut the windows, I'd recommend bringing an extra jumper or an extra layer so then you can be hot. Does anything in your school kitchen use energy? Yes, the oven does, the dishwasher does, the freezer does, and the food warmer does. Have you done anything to your kitchen to make it be more efficient? Yes, we changed the um, freezers. And um, should we go and have a look? Yeah. <laughs> this way. Why was the freezer using so much energy? Because the seal was leaking and all the cold air was going out and the freezer was using more energy to, um, keep, the, to keep the food cold. How did you realise that this was happening? Well, we looked uh, at the energy data at Energy Sparks and then we put in some appliance monitors. That's the energy being used and that's the cost. And then um, with the data that we gained from them, we wrote letters to our headmaster. And how much money was it using? Um, the old freezer was using £700 and the new freezer uses £40 a year. And what was, how much did you save? £660 a year.
energy you need and how can you get some? Well, when it's natural energy, you can get it from the sun, you can get it from the wind with wind turbines, you can get it even from this ocean with the waves and the power the movement they do. You can also get it from coal and trees, but they're more kind of, they're kind of hurting, right, which are trying to save. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So why did you go for some solar panels? Well, solar panels, because they're, um, they don't really take up much space, as you can see they're just on the roof, they don't really, yeah. And if when you have solar panels, they inspire other people to also have solar panels. And, and if, you, if you had wind turbines, it would, um, it, it would be very big and cost a lot of money. And, and not everyone can have wind turbines. Yeah. And it would be an eyesore. So how could you afford these solar panels then? Well, we wrote letters to other companies asking them if they could sponsor us for our solar panels. And yes, we okay. did. <laughs> so we originally raised like 2,000 from one of our companies and we'll cover it too. And then like the rest we would raise to like 100 to 500. Each yeah. solar panel costs Plus, like around, around 300. 300 and all together um, 26 of them cost like 10,000 pounds. Do you want to do anything else in the future? Well, um, we are planning to make like to save more like plastics and but we think um, solar panels so, was a good start. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we're also hoping to get um, a Tesla or like electric chargers in the car park over there. Um, so yeah, so it can just so we can get more people wanting to buy electric cars. Yeah. So energy um, points. Where yeah. yeah. The cars can charge themselves yeah. without using petrol. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the school save energy? Energy Sparks does and it picks up all the information to help us from the school smart meter. Oh look, I can see that last week our school used 180 kilowatt hours of electricity. That's enough energy to boil 1,200 kettles. How else does Energy Sparks help you and your school save energy? It helps us by um, showing us how much energy we're using, which we wouldn't know usually, and then we can act on that information. Can you see how much energy the school is using in lockdown? Um, yes, here you can see it. And then um, the, this green, the, these big green bits is where some students have been in and some haven't. Blue bits are at night when the school isn't open. How does the school get points on energy sparks? We do different activities, then we note them down on the website and we get certain points for different things. The points that we gain from our activities go to the school board and look, last year we were at the top. Why is the holiday using so much energy? It's using 156 pounds 98p. It shouldn't really be using that much energy, so maybe we should look into that. Let's act on it. Why does the school use energy at the weekend? Um, because like security cameras and, yes. and like what? maybe teachers preparing for the next week. And the fridges and freezers and the years on. You have taken lots of action to save energy at Freshford School. What do you think we need to do next to create a more sustainable world? Well, we want to see more sustainable transport, we want to see more walking and cycling rather than using your car. Um, and we want to see more public transport like electric cars and electric planes and trains. So now you've heard about what Freshford Primary School have been doing to save energy. You can play your part in your school. Don't forget to switch off lights and other equipment. And make sure your heating is not on too high in your classroom. Our message to world leaders is focus on climate change. This is an emergency. This is our future. Protect our planet.